Hey there, and welcome to playing a war boss where the boys are ready, so what we need is a war boss. And I kind of started doing this ages and ages ago, like years ago. And the orcs were meant to be done, and it was all meant to be done, and then sidetracked, and well, I never got around to them, but just did the orcs recently, as you've seen. So, this is a conversion job, and uh, he's going to have a grey overcoat, and then I'll introduce the red from the other dudes into him as well. So I'm going to start with blocking all the greys. We go then, here's our greys. Now these are from the extra opaque range from, or game extra opaque, sorry, from Vallejo. And uh, just use heavy charcoal and heavy grey, but heavy grey is the flesh. It's got that green tone, same as I used on the boys. Both of them are thinned down really thin. I uh, want the underpaint to show through. It gives me some tonal quality. Also, because Originally what I've done is I've just painted everything chestnut brown and given it a black ink wash basically. Quite a thin, slightly thinned black ink wash. This is where I used to work quite a lot. Just to establish tone and I used the chestnut brown for the same reason I used the red on other orcs. But because brown's kind of a bit more neutral than red. And that gives you sort of your base tonality and gives some tonality to run through this now. Next up, I'm just going to introduce all of my tin bits and my reds because I want some red in here to sort of bind them in with the others. But I wanted them to be more like a, like a blood axe, a blood axe commander. He's the governor. He's like one of them beaky-faced, pointy-headed, guardy, whatever, shouty people. He's the war boss, but he's the governor, and um. So blood axes kind of made sense. And also, I don't know, I always like the blood axes, like the idea of orcs trying to be disciplined. But yeah, I'll crack on. And here we go, Zen. We've got my tin bits. Well, actually, I'm using Tinny Tin from the game colour range from Velo. And my red. This is Gore Red from... Or Gory Red from game colour. And I just laid the red up real thin. And I've also thrown in some dark greens because I want to try some dark green panels just so that we we want a full mix of orky colours. He's a war boss, he doesn't care which clan, even if he is a blood axe, he'll command anybody. Also, I felt like the dark greens and the reds uh, are blood axe kind of colours. You know, they do the dark green red combo camo kind of affair. And so, next up, gonna introduce. Browns. Um, and these will be the base tones for leathers, teeth, or what have you. But you can see, quite rapidly comes together once you've based up, and also because of the toning underneath provided by the underpainting. Um, well, this is still technically underpainting or base coating, really. Um, but the underpainting gives you all those tonal values, so you've got a lot of light and shade already introduced. Here we go then and basic coating I think is complete at this point and obviously I haven't done every last little bit with the colour now because the toning is actually okay for some stuff. So where I've left the original toning like on the strap there for the gun uh, that'll get a highlight and a black another black ink and that'll it's effectively become one with black leather. I mean, at this point, you could chuck this guy down on the table and he's alright, and he? he's got some colour on him. Also, as well as the browns, uh, where I use sienna for things like the fur here and the wooden poles. And then all of the leather bits have had uh, brown put on them. They're all both from the Vallejo extra paint range. And don't worry about the fact that I'm using Vallejo paint. You Games Workshop paint said our paint is really good paint and it, you can find the colours. Um, my preference I think these days is probably for the Vallejo because I find that I get more for my money or at least I feel that way. And Games Workshop paints don't know if it's still the case. They went through a phase of drying out rather too quickly for my taste so that they would actually go off with the pot in the pots that they come in. Whereas I find the Vallejo paints have lasted very very well. So I mean, that's just a personal preference. I mean, the only other thing I have done is I've chucked some blue on to the uh, tufty bits, the many tufty bits, flowing in the breeze from his boss pole. Um, just to 
added some blue in there and I've used uh, night blue from the game colour range which is quite similar to midnight blue from GW in all fairness just a really dark blue and I'll take that up a bit lighter and it's just um, Death Skulls are my probably my other most likely to be used clan if I was going to have allies I'd probably use them unless you want to have a load of vehicles because oh, let's face it all vehicles do look really cool and I suppose one last thought is orcs they look easy to paint they're probably one of the hardest things to paint up to a sort of a beautiful standard you can kind of get away with a lot more with them because they are ramshackle and uh, they is orcs it doesn't really matter to them you paint badly and it's just how they paint so that's fine but to actually paint these guys really well there's tons of details on all the minis uh, you need a lot of variety of colour there's a lot of patchwork going on so actually probably the easiest armies to paint are probably Space Marines because they have very consistent uniforms although they may have lots of details on them they're very consistent details so they're much easier to deal with whereas this bunch to make them really look ramshackle to really look good takes a lot of time where you build up the paint and then you have to weather it and but you'll see you'll see so I hope this has been some interest to you and all your paints going really well let your war bosses be the best the brutalist the cunningest whichever suits you I think this guy's cunning but brutal I uh, don't know what he's called yet he is the governor I was thinking about calling him a grot snatch a bit, it just sounds a bit wrong. Uh, so thank you for watching, have a good one and take care. Bye bye.